so he, he was basically out there, um, Jerry Kramer, out there, and he's written some great books, uh, comic book writer, legend. And um, and so he's he's basically going on about how teenage boys didn't go out to watch this. And I said to him, you know, I posted back saying, it's an R18 movie, but who in their right mind would send their teenage boys to it if it's an R18 movie? And not only that, teenage girls to it as well. So you're forgetting the teenage girls who love Harlequin, right? Harlequin basically came out in the Batman animated series in a full costume, all right? A full costume, head to face, totally covered in the black and um, black and red, sorry, white and red um, jester costume, Harlequin, right? And of, and of, also, Harlequin is an amazing character if you really think about it. Um, she was um, she was a therapist um, who you know who was um, uh, providing psychology to um, looking after um, Joker. He basically played head games with her. And got her basically twisted in the head. And she basically went over her to the dark side. And basically, this movie is basically about two villains. And I, I don't understand how they can say, well, it's a superhero movie. It's basically two villains who have no powers, right? So it's it's a comic book movie like Joker, but with two villains. Main characters are two villains. So how do you, how do you then try to promote two villains? There's no sort of uh, redeeming factor if you're going to just go villains going off at each other who are killing people for the sake of killing people because they have problems in their lives. Um, Black Mask in this movie is supposed to, uh, you know, uh, comes from a very bad home situation, gets into criminal, uh, becomes a criminal, and hates um, Harlequin for whatever reason. He's supposed to be a man-hater. I mean, female, you know, woman-hater. So you've got someone who hates men and someone who hates women. So you've got two very horrible people uh, with horrible parts going at each other in a movie that has basically has no redeeming factors all right so if you really think about it that's where it's at so you can't make a movie about two villains joker was just one villain but then joker obviously played you know was talking about social things about a mental person right not a mental person but a person with mental issues because of his own bad background and violent horrible background Right, and so, but there wasn't two p villains in it, so there was, you know, so then you've got, you know, basically you got a small amount of um, uh, birds of prey people in there, which aren't really birds of prey because they don't look like the characters, so that turns up the audience as well, because if you don't have characters that represent um, that are represented in the comic books that actually look like the comic book characters, how are you supposed to actually connect with that? So that turned off the other audience. So not only do you have like um, you know dark skinned people going, hey, this isn't this is not right, race swapping, then you had like man going, this isn't right, like bashing us over the head with you know misogyny and all this bad bad things, and not only that, then you had the third thing, these characters don't look like them, so you basically decided to just totally ruin the mo ruin the movie for the audience before they even bought the ticket, but then then you went away and started promoting with negativity. Positive things get you, you know, if you positively promote something and are happy about what you're doing, people will, be, will buy into that. But if you start going off in a negative way about it, people won't be into that. Um, you know, you can write a really horrible, horrible uh, story with positive outcomes. Um, 